Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. Welcome to Always Forever Creations. My name is Stephanie, and if you are new, welcome. Be sure to subscribe. In today's video, I am making a master board. And yes, I do know my last video, I made a master board too. I am not feeling very well. I have a cold and this is a easy, relaxing project that I don't have to put much thought in. So I am doing another master board, but this one is for hashtag creepy 13 hosted by Tony at Tony's witchy arts and crafts. I will link her down below. I personally have been using this hashtag challenge to work on a series of journals that I have wanted to make for a few years now. And it is journals made from these scary stories to tell in the dark books. I love these books when I was younger and my set got a little bit destroyed over the many, many years of their lives. So I am using the bits and pieces that are left to make a, a journal collection. It is so warm in my house right now. This is a terrible time to be doing this like four o'clock in the afternoon my office has no airflow okay i have cut up some pieces of paper i have inked them heavily i do want to do a little bit extra things to this master board than i did my last one my last one was very simple it was neutral it was beautiful i will link that video below as well okay let's get started i have some pretty lacy type paper. I have a bunch of scraps like set aside purely to do collages. They're like nice light papers. So a lot of these came out of there. Um, like this had a guitar on it at one point. You can't really tell anymore. Have some, this is coffee dyed, but just some numbers. And then I also have some pages from the book itself. Um, if you're not familiar, this is one of the covers. This is a journal cover that I have made already. Eventually, I'm going to get my channel organized and we're going to have playlists and things. So I'll try to get a playlist created for all the things I make for this journal. There's going to be three of them. There are three scary stories to tell in the dark books. So I'm going to have three journals. Okay, is that all the intro stuff? I think so. I think maybe I'll put some of these big pieces down first and then we can kind of build around them, build up, might do some stenciling, might do some stamping, might do some water spraying. I did ink some of these pieces quite heavily so maybe they'll get some nice watermarks on them. But yes, my, my son got sick a couple of weeks ago, got an ear infection. He went through his 10 days of antibiotics. And then like the next day, my daughter started complaining that her ear was hurting because she was sick the week after him um, with just like runny nose, coughing type thing. And so took her to the doctor and now she has started her antibiotics and yeah I don't think I will get the ear infection but I have the cough I have the runny nose stuffy nose whatever it's horrible I can't sleep if my nose is doing things <laughs> sorry <laughs> too much information so I'm tired and I wasn't even, I wasn't gonna do a creepy 13 this this month just because I didn't know what to do for it and I have other projects I want to do but yeah I'm just I'm not feeling well I gotta re remember to try to stay in frame I'm sorry um yeah in today's 
Sunday the 12th, right? Today's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I know you'll see this on Monday. At least it's Mother's Day in the U.S. Happy Mother's Day to the mothers in the U.S. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. But I have a video that is ready to be uploaded. And if I can get this one going, um, I can push that one to Wednesday and then I can kind of take a couple more days to recover maybe. Oh, I forgot to mention too, the base of this is a paper bag um, I had cut off the bottom to make Valentine's Day cards for my son's class. Um, so now I have like a bunch of the top midsection. So I just sliced that open and then I ironed it so it lays nice and flat. Wow, this is, this is getting messy with the ink. Um, what else was I going to say? I forgot. I keep forgetting what I'm going to say. What was I talking about? <laughs> oh my gosh. I really can't remember. Oh, I, I think I was going to say, I didn't think I was going to have time to make something like this or to make an extra video, but my my husband took the kids um, to go see his mom today. So I have some unexpected time alone. I probably should be sleeping or laying down, but again, like that's not really comfortable and I can't really sleep very well. So might as well craft, yes? Cause that makes me happy. Okay, let's put some numbers down. I am just going to kind of do a formula in all these areas and see what happens. <laughs> it may or may not work. How are all of you doing? I do have a glue page off to the side here. Might have to use. Wow, I really cannot stay in frame. Okay, what I think needs to happen is I need to move my frame down. Is that better? More comfortable for myself? I don't know. Um, yep. How are you all doing? That's what I was going to say. I hope all is well. I hope if you are a mother, you are having a nice day or had a nice day yesterday. I hope if you are a child, which everyone is, um, you said thank you to your mom. If she is available to you. Mother's Day has been a very conflicting day for me for uh, several years now. Um, I think I'm gonna put this right here but it's it's gotten it's gotten easier since becoming a mother but my mom decided to leave the family about I don't even know 14 years ago now something like that so I, I was an adult when, you know, she just left, um, but my brothers weren't, and I just 
yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to get into that, but it's a, it's a, a, a confusing day, I guess. But again, it, it got much easier when I became a mom. So, where was I going to put this? Here? I think. Okay. <clears throat> and this here. I feel like I'm leaving myself weird holes. But maybe I won't cover up the back completely. Okay, I don't, is glue coming out? No. Um, I did, I inked these pages on the back of here, so you kind of see some ink. But if we're going to stamp and stencil, maybe I should have stamped first, then those areas would have been left. Ah, gosh. I never know what I want to do until I start doing it <laughs> and then it's too late I think I ran into this problem on the last project okay oh I do not okay I don't want those lines lining up so we'll go this way there we go I already really like this it's really pretty I was just standing over it. Why my camera is crooked? What is happening? Okay. <laughs> Sorry if that looked wonky. I think a number up in this corner here. Yep. I honestly think I can stop right here and I would be very happy with how it looks. Maybe, do I have a small, maybe I'll, chop this in half. I left my tearing ruler out so I could do that. Oh, but now I have to ink it. I'm out of domed uh, <laughs> foams. Well, I'm out of just any kind of foam in general. So the brushes I can wash. I'm going to put this here. I think right there okay stick 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 I do want you to be sticking down all the way I think right and we'll have to make a master board where all the ends are like curling up and it's like coming out at you <laughs> I think it'd be kind of cool okay what 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 do we need now I kind of want, uh, I don't know, maybe smaller pieces of this. Oh, this is the oxide. I need the ink. Does it matter? I don't know. <laughs> I inked these papers in ink and the red ones in oxide because I'm extra, I guess. I have, I have no reason for doing that. This paper is so pretty. It goes with the books, I think, too. 
Oh, we're going to lose Thumb Thump. <laughs> Somebody Thumb Thump. It's the story about Frosty. Okay. Okay. I know what I'm going to do for my Christmas in July, which makes total sense to talk about it on a Creepy 13 video, right? <laughs> um, I'm going to do... Christmas in July Sundays. I think that will be fun. I have, and then I have a whole bunch of ideas for like holiday themed videos. Um, so it might continue on after July. Okay. I like it. What else does it need? I probably needed, oh, I, ha I do have more paper. Oh, okay. I have black glitter paper. I didn't fully cut this up because I wanted to share. Uh, I am pretty sure, like 80% sure, that glitter paper will dull your trimming blade. So I was not thinking and I did cut the strip with the, with my blade. But I want like little squares. So I scored it so I know where to cut. Could also use your craft knife and uh, a ruler. Um, but yeah, just something to keep in mind. Certain, certain materials will dull your, your blades. I mean, paper in general dulls blades, but if you're using it on paper, like paper to paper, then you're going to be okay. Um, but yeah, that's why if you use scissors on paper, it's not going to go work on fabric because you need super sharp scissors for fabric. All right. I do want to get rid of these white edges. I'm actually thinking these squares might be too big. Uh, I don't know. Is this a better size? I think I want to put these on last. So I think we'll stamp and stencil next. Um, and then we'll kind of figure these out. So I'll stop inking them. <laughs> Look at this stencil, isn't it beautiful? I wish I had the inverse, but I watch um, Miss Pam at the Paper Outpost, and she has this one and the inverse, and she says it is one of her most expensive stencils. She says she paid like $20 for it. I did not pay that much for this, so I thought I got a great deal. <laughs> but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of focus on this area, and I'm just I'm going to put it in like some of these blank spaces, maybe. What color? My first instinct is black. Yeah, I'm gonna do black yeah, oxide. Yeah, we're gonna do black oxide. I have a brush. This one's clean. These are just from the Dollar Tree. And nice small brushes. I can kind of stay in those areas. Oh, that is so cool. <gasps> Do you see it? I love it. I'm sorry. 
I am not feeling well, but I am having so much fun doing this. I hope you guys are enjoying whatever you are crafting. I hope you like turn on my videos and craft with me. Not like necessarily doing the same craft I'm doing, but you know, doing your own projects. That is, that is my hope. Okay, so next time <laughs> we have to stencil first because, right, that would have been so much easier. Kind of stencil the whole bag, then put the collage papers on, then do our stamping. We could spray it with some water, whatever we want to do after that point. That would be the easier route to go. But this is where we are. This is how it goes. <laughs> okay. What's kind of cool is I can kind of find pieces that like fit in my weird spaces that I have. So this is a nice stencil. I got it from scrapbook.com. I don't, I do have the packaging still. I don't know if it's still being sold though. That's the thing. Some, some craft supplies leave so quickly. I'm sorry, I'm probably like leaving frame half the time. I need to pay attention. Oh. Alrighty. Need that little square. How we doing? I hope I'm not boring you now because now we're just doing the same thing over and over. It looks so cool. I love it. Keep checking to make sure I'm still in frame. Last few pieces here. This last piece here can kind of see what areas of the stencil I used and what areas I didn't. Okay, yay! All right, set you aside, clean you up later. Stamping. I want to put some spider webs, have my spider web stamp. I think this is my most used stamp. Isn't that a little strange? I like spooky things, I guess. Sometimes. Use those two. Okay. Will you fit on here? You will. All right. Pumice stone in oxide. So far, I mean, I haven't tried every color out there, but this has the, been the best one for spider webs. Okay. 
I don't really know what I want to do. Let's see. I don't want to go too crazy. Why am I doing it that way? I don't know. Is that the right way? I don't think so. Okay. just going to put a couple of these in the corner. I mean, this is going to get cut up. So if I put one in every corner, that should be fine. <laughs> I'll just put a few more of these. Randomly. I keep stand, stamping them on the book page and you can't really see it on there, but it's there. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. Maybe one here. <laughs> Whoa, my hands look so dirty. Okay. Lid. Okay, we're almost done. Not yet though, don't leave yet. Okay. The glitter. I'm wondering, oh, well, that works right there. <laughs> I was thinking maybe these are too big of pieces. I think these are. I need to cut them in half. I was trying to think like, do I have a die shape that would kind of maybe be cool? Or, or what about my label punch? Is that weird? Like a glitter, a glitter label, or do we put like a decorative border on it? I don't think, I don't think this is going to like the glitter paper. Sorry, I keep turning my head away. Oh. Oh gosh, <laughs> the paper's stuck in there. Okay. Ooh, I kind of, oh, I like it. Gives it some sparkle, but it's not like a big chunk that's overwhelming. Oh dear. Get in there. Okay. Now get out of there. Okay. Um, let's do four of them. Do we need more? Oh, maybe we need more. Okay. I cut out six and I hurt myself. That, that, um, Ooh, do we like that? Is it working? I think this one there. Do we need another one up here? Oh, do we need more? <laughs> I don't want to cut out more. I hurt myself.
Okay, I cut out one more. Um, I'm gonna ink these really quick, glue them on, and I will be back. Alrighty, that is going to be it for today. Everything is inked and glued on, and oh my gosh, I love it so much. It's so pretty. I don't know what it's gonna be yet, but maybe next month or in July we'll make some, I don't know, tags or belly bands or, well, I already made belly bands, but maybe some tags or jewelry cards or something. Uh, or just, it could be its own book. It's so cute. I love it. I also made some quick little uh, clusters with the pieces I did not use. So these can be added within the journals. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me. It has been a true pleasure. I hope you feel inspired and motivated and you get some good crafting time in today. Thank you again. Let's get together again soon.